Your retirement accounts may have taken a little bit of a hit today. After March, inflation data came in hotter than expected, sending stocks plunging in early market trading. But before you scramble to reallocate all your investments, we're bringing in Yahoo Finance contributor Ross Mack. Ross, good to have you here in studio with us. Do people need to inflation-proof their retirement accounts? I always look at this two ways, right? It's a short answer and a long answer. Short answer is, please, people, don't get scared. Don't deviate from your long-term investment plans, right? Because over the course of history, right, anytime there's a shock to the market, sure, but the market always recovers and goes on to make new highs, right? I had my aunt call me during the COVID crisis. Oh, my God, what should I do with my retirement account? Auntie, you good? And later on that year, she thanked me, right? But the long answer is you, it's always good to assess what you're invested in, and the question can be, you know, Am I getting, from a risk adjusted standpoint, am I getting exposure to some of those asset classes that, in this instance, are giving a good inflation hedge? And I think over the course of history, we've seen that one of the best inflation hedges is Bitcoin. Now, if you fell victim to saying, I don't want to own Bitcoin because X, y, XYZ CEO said it's a pet rock, it's a tulip, then that's the question you have. But now you see the writing on the wall and it is an asset class that some top asset managers are actually going pretty heavy into. So now you, from a risk adjusted standpoint, you can say from an asset allocation, it's okay to actually start getting long-term exposure into different asset classes that in this instance can provide some inflation hedging. There are a lot of people that are looking for actionable advice today as well, especially with their retirement accounts. And even if, they're have, even if they have a retirement account and perhaps a different account that they trade a little bit more actively in as well, and they're trying to figure out, okay, I've seen a run up, I've seen new highs for companies like NVIDIA that all catch headlines, but what should I do right now? I mean, what would the, the advice or the reminder to them be? Well, I think it's important to one, understand what your overall long-term strategy is. And once again, we're not deviating. However, in this instance, you're going to be dollar cost averaging, right? Like it's hard to say is Nvidia or Bitcoin or Apple going to be high, up higher or lower over the course of the next few months or weeks. But over the long course, you're saying, okay, I want to get exposure and I don't want to actually have to think about it. So dollar cost averaging is always going to be your best friend.